In this country, nearly 30 million adults and children suffer from diabetes. This metabolic disease can strike anyone from any walk of life. Diabetics can develop several comorbidities as a result of the disease, among them diabetic vascular disease. Compounding the risk of vascular disease, high blood pressure, smoking, lack of exercise, becoming overweight, or eating a diet high in fat. November is Diabetes Awareness Month. We sat down with Dr. Charlie Hahn of Veins, Florida to talk about some of the different treatments available for diabetic vein disease. You know, traditionally medicine, you, you, you know, patient come in with a, you know, one set of problems or several sets of problems, and then you will usually uh, either treat the patient or refer the patient somewhere else. For the vein patients, uh, they tend to have multiple symptoms and multiple problems, and we have a variety of ways to treat them. Varicose veins can cause uh, blood clots in them, and then they cause a tremendous amount of pain uh, once the blood in them develops and become a clot. And we call it a, a thrombophlebitis. And uh, also, uh, the larger it gets, uh, they tend to pull more blood, and which causes uh, skin changes, color changes around these uh, large varicose veins. It can cause skin ulcers, uh, which will take a very long time to heal and uh, also they can cause a large amount of bleeding uh, if they got injured. Genetic plays a very large role. Uh, usually you tend to notice uh, the leg feel heavy and uh, there's a lot of swelling and sometimes patients can have uh, fatigue. The potential danger is when you start noticing uh, at the end of the day after a long day walk, uh, the, you know, standing up and your leg get really swollen, especially around the ankle and the lower part of the leg and uh, also they tend to ache when you put your foot down at the end of the day when you're sitting on the sofa and uh, also you notice some skin changes instead of nice looking skin they tend to be kind of rusty looking and uh, start having uh, small ulcers and those are the warning signs. The American Diabetes Association estimates that Americans spend over $245 billion a year in medical costs and reduced productivity as a result of diabetes and its complications. For more information on the procedures offered at Veins Florida and for previous vein related stories, please click the Diabetic Vein Disease Story Link icon on our homepage at yourhometownhealth.com.